This machine is the pocket hole machine. It drills small holes at slight angles on the end of our pieces of lumber so that we can attach two pieces of wood together using screws. We have no visible screws from the outside edges when we use pocket screws. This machine is very easy to use. If you look up here on the machine, on this black base, there's a small little line on there that indicates the center of the pocket hole. You typically want to put two holes in each end of your lumber if possible so that it doesn't swivel on just one screw. If you just had one screw in there, it would swivel around. With two screws, it holds it in place so it doesn't move. We would be cutting our rails on here. We would take our rails and place them on the machine. We would place them on the machine so the good side was up. We would line it up with this mark on the base of the unit. We want to fit two holes in this piece of wood. So we'd line it up so that it's kind of uh, centered in the spot that we want so we can fit two holes on there. Before using the machine, you want to make sure the air pressure is turned on. Turn this little handle down so it's in line with the pipes, going the same direction the pipes are. That will turn the air pressure on. Make sure the machine is plugged in. If it's not already, just double check that. The pedal to operate the machine is off to the right side of the machine. It's this orange box down on the floor. Your foot goes inside and just taps the pedal and releases. To turn this machine on, on the left side of the machine there is a light switch. That is how you turn the machine on and off. Next to that switch is the warning label. You must read the warning label and the owner's manual before using the machines. You should always read the warning labels and owner's manual before using any machine in the shop. Reading the warning label during this demonstration does not count as reading the warning label. You should always read the warning label before using the machine each time. Now that I've read the owner's manual, I can go ahead and turn the machine on. From the operator's position, I line up my piece of lumber to be cut. I just tap the pedal. Do not hold the pedal down, just tap it. Made one cut. Line it up for the second cut. We have two holes on that end. Now we flip it around and cut two holes on the other end. When you're done, you should have two holes on each end of your piece of lumber. Typically, this is used for the rails on your face frame. If you do not know how to use this machine or any other machine in the shop, please ask for help.